All right, here we go on the back of the page. First thing we need to do is make up our chart here. And let's see here. Let's start on the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, sorry. 3 to the 3rd is 27. Um, this is 3 to the 2nd is 9, then 3, then 1, then 1 3rd, then 1 9th, then 1 27. All right, if I plot those points, negative 3, 1 27, wow, that's right at the axis. Negative 2 and 9th, a little bit further. Negative 1 a third. 0 is 1, then 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, way up there. And we have this exponential curve is, are the graphs that we've been talking about. All right, solving the equations. Uh, you have to give a statement and the reason. So here we go. First uh, reason is given. All right, different bases. Let's make them the same base. This is 3 squared to the 2x plus 1 and 3 and 3x minus 5. What did I do here? I simply changed the base. If you can't remember the reason, just describe what you did. I changed the base. All right, and now I'm going to distribute this exponent. So I have 3 and 2 times 2x is 4x plus 2, and this is 3 and 3x minus 5. Well, what did I do? I did the power to power rule, meaning if you have an exponent and you raise it to another exponent, you just multiply power to power rule. Now I have a position where I have the bases the same, so I can drop down these exponents. If the bases are the same, the exponents must be the same. So I can drop it down and make it look like this. And that is our exponential equality property. That's the main rule we did in class this time. This, this lesson, chapter 6, was about the exponential equality property. And now we can just minus the 3x from this side, and that leaves an x over here, minus the 2 from this side. I'm going to cross that off. That leaves a negative 7 over there. And what did I do? I did some addition, and I did some subtraction property. All right, moving down the page here. Let's see here. Um, exponential equations, again, have to get the same base. So these are powers of 10. I'm going to do 10 um, squared to the x plus 4. And this one is 10 to the 3x minus 5. All right, now I can distribute this in over here. We have 10 to the 2x plus 8. And over here we have 10 to the 3x minus 5. Now we can simply just make the exponents the same. Subtract off the 2 on this side, add the 5 over there, x is going to be 13. On the next one, we have 8 and 4. Those are both powers of 2. So we can write this one as 2 to the 3rd and leave that same exponent up there. And this one is simply 2 to the 2nd. And again, we're going to leave this same exponent there. And if I distribute this in here, I'm going to have 9x plus 15. And on the other side, I'm going to have um, 2x minus 6. Subtract away the 2, and I have 7x. Subtract away the 15, and I have negative 21. Divide by 3, x is equal to negative 3. All right, on the last one, I'll get you set up. Um, 1 9th and 81, well, I see powers of 9 in here. This is 9 to the negative 1. And again, drop the same exponent up there. 
and on this one it is yc81 is 9 to the power of 2. And again, drop the same exponent in there. Uh, distribute, do the math, you should come up with x is equal to negative 2 and 3. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, uh, please ask in class.